Hello. Us here. One step from Eden. Been wanting to try out Kunai Shiso for a few days now, but there's been so much else I've wanted to do too. Uh, still would like to confirm whether if you have a card that can be generated in your deck and you upgrade it, if all copies of get upgraded, it would certainly balance out the lack of a relic. But I don't know, maybe he's just strong anyway. Anyway, um... Oh wow, no aim marker is just the third hell one and it comes with something else. So it seems like you can always unlock up to two hell modes ahead of the one you actually do, but I don't think I want to advance yet. Maybe every, like, few wins. But we don't even have a win as every character yet. I just toss that out, generate some more kunais. Oh, he only has two max mana by default. Alright, saved up a few more than I needed, but I did just want to burst him once when he stopped attacking. Exploding enemy sounds fun. Both of these seem useless. I almost want to skip. <laughs> I'm not going to do frost damage. I guess I'll get mint tea just to get it out of the relic pool. Oh yeah. Yeah, bouncing blade's probably fine. Synergize as well with our root. I want a double focus slash fic, actually. The most fictional of all slashes. Oh man, making me choose between the store and the chest. I guess they're often in the same column with the campfire. I want to get as many relics as I can. So that I have as many chances to get... Um, meat shield and card thrower. I think both of them will be extremely strong. I think I'll go this way, because I th think we'd be getting something from... Uh... Okay. So he sort of only took 8 damage. Ack! Okay. We took 16 damage. None of these are slash fic. Gain 10 defense, lose mono regen. I think we need more mono regen, actually. Alright, well. Nope. Playing bad. Yeah, that's a very mono-efficient spell if you even get two hits with it. Apply Fragile and X four tiles away. This would be something that can actually hit behind targets. We're completely lacking in that, besides Claw Traps, but that doesn't kill. This would allow us to do certain hostage situations successfully. Uh-oh. Uh, wait. I wasn't even, like, watching my side very well. Okay. I think we probably just let the hostage get killed in this scenario. Well, I don't know. Maybe we reshuffle into... this enough to actually get the kill. Cause like, we've got the fight basically under control now. Ow. Ow. Okay. Saving the nurse at the end was worthwhile. Alright, give me money. Maybe the spell power would have been worth it. Ooh. Permanent spell power per hostage saved. Getting that in World 1 seems good. Uh. Can I kill this in time? No. 
Well, no relic. Okay, hit five tiles in front, add one kunai to your deck on hit. Seems good. Sometimes the heal timing is bad for me. Alright, but yeah, we're doing fine on HP. Let's see, Hazel's the boss, okay. Throw a fast knife, if you have fragile, duplicate the spell, consume. I mean, it's, it's MP efficient. 100 damage for one mana, even if you don't activate the condition. Uh, okay. We moved through them successfully. I've seen that get done before. She'll break her own crystals. Oops, I accidentally cast the ring because I was just mashing A. Alright, easy battle. And let's see, because we want the costume, we are just going to spare everyone unconditionally. already have the alternative set. That's what we're using. Alright. Queen fight. Nah. I was thinking about shield catch, but we're just gonna get meat shield and then have all the shield we ever want. Let's go this way, path through the mid-boss to the store. Alright. Missing with a bunch of stuff that I really probably shouldn't. Yep. Got him. Yeah, starting out with a ring spell that gives you kunais is sort of like having mana regen. Okay. Got him. And back to full health. I mean, mana regen still seems good. What's my... It's currently up to three spell power. Excellent. Oh. Ah, they got me. Yeah, I guess... The Bouncing Blade moves to wherever you are when it hits the enemy, so if you have to dodge, you can get it misaligned. Shield Battery will probably save me more than 40 health over the course of the game. Right, we're going to the store. As much as I don't like going through the campfire, in order to get there, I guess I can pick up luck. Don't think that ruins Pacifist. Let's see... Didn't find the things we want over here. I don't need to heal HP, so both these packs are completely worthless. I guess I could donate and then get Cell Sword. Okay, let's refresh stock. Oh, that also changes the packs. Right, of course it does. I have Demona regen. Oh yeah, I did want to buy an upgrade. Upgrade Kunai. Bonus 20 damage. 25% chance to hit twice. Gain 10 shield. I mean, let's, let's take the damage, right? Let's see. I think if I refresh into 
whatever I'm looking for, I won't be able to buy it anymore. Let's just get scales. Alright. Listen, I'm really curious. Are all our kunai going to deal 10 extra damage? Okay, no, only the one I actually upgraded. Well, that was cool, having her rooted and just using the Bouncing Blade a lot. Alright. Wow, just spamming that move. It's probably my worst move, at least on this boss tier. Alright, back to full health. This is fine. I'm fine. Just like Silice, he said. All right. Got him. <laughs> with only that enemy, it's super easy to deal with. Okay, I guess I'll take shields up. Although, if I just get meat shield, consuming two kunai is going to be as good as shields up, and we already have double take for one mana. Eh, let's, let's go all in on the synergy. One extra max mana does actually seem pretty nice. Actually get to play our stuff after the shuffle. Got him. Pass on these. I guess once you already have all the common cards, even with a double focus, you're not gonna get stuff like guaranteed. One by throwing the ring at him. Spawn three blades there to throw in when touched. Consume. Neat. Found another slash fix spell. Oops. Okay. Ah, didn't actually get to interact with the blades because I was afraid of the giant laser beam. Okay, now the battle's easy. Oh, he does have nine defense. That's a pretty uncalled for amount of defense for him to have. All right, our boss is Saffron. Let's see, Uranium, it used to give 10 spell power, and um, it was take one damage instead of lose one HP, so it interacted with the shields. It's definitely much worse now. But at the same time, 8 extra damage on every kunai is tempting. I, uh, hmm. Yeah, let's go for it. Alright. Not finding the synergies yet. Melgum could be fun, but we don't make use of everything there. We make pretty poor use of both the Frosty and the Fragile. I'm gonna take a refresh here. Alright. I'm thinking of buying Northwind, actually. We haven't fought Reva yet. Yeah, let's go for it. Oh, 
Oh, right. The hostage was in there. Oh. Ow. Man, it's really gonna make that sound all the time, isn't it? <laughs> well, get used to it, I guess. Oh, hey, it's Z-Saber. Alright, I mean, last letter. Hit two tiles in front. Oh, the preview is only gonna show it as the last spell in my deck. It doesn't... I'm not seeing the Z shape. Whatever, we'll, we'll figure it out. Add a kunai to your deck when you get hit. As much as I want the current HP... That might be one of the best things we could have gotten. Maybe you don't hit the Saffron Doll, except then... Ow. Alright. This is going pretty well. Okay, thanks for aligning your doll. Ow! Alright, we nearly died there. But we did win. I almost... Messed it up at the end, right after saying we nearly died there. Okay. Ow. Yeah, I'm currently not feeling very good about this run, honestly. Okay. Got him? Hey, it's Step Slash. Most of the time when people start with a Slash Fix spell, that's it. Uh, I might need to hit the campfire. Nah, we'll just get lucky with hostages in non-hostage battles, right? Or, you know, buy medkit. Him hiding behind the volcano is not very good for us. Kind of needed to hurry up that battle a bit more. Okay. Not taking beacon just to heal five. Hit surrounding tiles, anchor, consume, 2x damage, and consume. Oh, the preview only shows it once because... It consumes. That's funny. Uh, don't think it has much to do with what we're doing. Alright. Well, I guess we're breaking out the snake. That was the normal bouncing blade. Uh, I kind of needed that space to exist. Alright. <laughs> Cause yeah, kunai's only have four range. Cast the spell on the other slot and consume it. Fragile? No. All right, mid-boss, because we're clearly ready for that. Ow. All right, I might be dead to 
it's uranium if I get no healing here. Well, here as in right now or the next. Eh, starting battles with some shield seems good. Right, medkit? There's medkit. I think we just need it. And I can't really re-roll. Nine Fragile is not worth 150 HP. Okay, what are we upgrading? Can we double take? Can we get the double cast and plus mana? No, we cannot. Guess I'll take the shield. Okay. Oh, hey, it's a hostage. Oops. Okay, I cannot north wind here. I guess I have to cast that if I'm not gonna north wind. Oh, the enemy's too far back. Oh, good thing they were standing directly up in above the hostage. Okay, with him gone. Okay, got him. Yeah, I've definitely spent a lot of stuff looking for synergy and then, like, not gotten it. Oop. I'm gonna try to make last letter work. Oop. Ah. Ow. Yeah, I hadn't really considered that with a big ol' stack of kunai in the deck at the end. I would often have to wait for last letter. Alright, yeah. Found no synergy, got owned. I think I'm gonna run it back. But I'll split the part. Soulfire and Salvage. If this kills an enemy, permanently raise the spell's damage by 20. Interesting. It also consumes. So it's basically, um, Ritual Dagger from Slay the Spire. Salvage. Destroy a structure in front to gain 100 shield and restore max mana. Anchor. Okay. Salvaging an enemy structure would be really cool. But anyway, gonna split the part here. See ya.